got on a horse called Long Break. Uh, kind of lives up to her name. She's a little long, and I felt like I was beating her to the punch to every jump. And then right about the corner, I kind of weakened, and she did too. And, but we finished it up and made a good 71-point ride. So he is definitely on the road to the college finals. He also competed in the rescue race. Yeah, we're using my uh, coming five-year-old <laughs> Yeldon, and he's just an outstanding horse. He can do anything he wants, and he won't care. But we just need to uh, come in a little bit more narrow on our corners because we're out too wide today. But we'll we'll get her next time. Are you guys going to compete again tomorrow? Yes, if the team lets us. If the team lets us. We will definitely let them. So good luck tomorrow, and try not to fall off the barrel, okay? All right, I will. So it is no surprise that I am here with Miss Jade Wommel. Jade won today's performance with a 16.37. That is over half of the second winning with today's barrel race. And she's currently first in the region and fourth in the nation. Jade, tell me a little bit about your run today. We made a clean run and there was no flaws really that I could think of or I didn't feel anything that was off so hopefully we'll just make another run tomorrow. Yep, and we do get to come back and compete again tomorrow and tomorrow's points are completely separate from today's. So tell me a little bit about your head case running tomorrow since it's a clean slate. Basically just keep it clean, make another businessman run and hopefully everything goes through the next So today is our first, or this weekend is our first college review back uh, from our little winter break. So tell me a little bit about what you did Honestly, I took him to the, I took him through some really deep sand and just worked him out on some uphill stuff, and that was basically all I got with the break. And that is definitely a great, great way to exercise horses and get them legged up. That's definitely what I do. Yeah. Congratulations. I am here with Derek Runyon. Derek won the tie-down roping today, which is no surprise because he is currently winning the region in the tie-down. He won today with a 9.8. Derek, tell us a little bit about your run and how your horse worked. Well, uh, it's not my horse. I'm just trying it from a guy. So, but she worked really good. Uh, the calf was really weaker. He didn't hit the end of the rope, and so I just kind of had to be patient and let things... Um, let things just kind of process and go at it from there. But other than that, it's pretty good. Okay, so like you said, this is your first time trying out this horse. So tell me a little bit about um, what you've done to kind of work on it beforehand. So I got to rope on her twice this week. and But it's kind of a different style than any horse I ever rode. So it's a little more, it's difficult. So I just got to go at them, you know, there's nothing... It's the rodeo, so nothing you can do other than that. Yeah. So are you going to work with this horse um, again tonight before you run tomorrow? Or do you think she worked well? What are your thoughts? No, she worked well. It was good. Cool. Well, congratulations and good luck tomorrow. Thank you. I am here with Sienna Bruton. Sienna won the breakaway roping yesterday with a 2.8. Sienna, tell me a little bit about your horse, Ella. Oh, I just got her back after a year of being crippled and she came back and put me right where I needed to be so yeah sometimes a year off like that can do <laughs> very well um so tell me a little bit about your run too oh I, my goal is just to go out and catch it so I did it mm -hmm. and what's your mindset going into today oh so I'll try to catch and get out good mm -hmm. just. and how does Ella differ from your other breakaway horse that you were using oh she just gets you right there a lot faster and she sets you up a lot better, so it's pretty, it's all, she's a lot better. Well, congratulations and good luck today. Thanks, Clay. It is no surprise that I am here yet again with Dylan Riggins. Dylan, tell us a little bit about your ride on Wackadoo today. Uh, she had a little bit of a scoot out there, and then she got rolling and started my feet, and it was just kick after jump. I just ripped my feet and set them again, and did the best I could I guess mm -hmm. but it was one of the better feelings I've had for rides this weekend um, that's about all I got 
It was definitely a very good ride. So you and Tanner also competed in the rescue race again today, except you guys switched ends. So tell us a little bit about why you switched ends. Well, uh, I've been like rodeoing quite a bit, and then so I'm like suffering a little bit from a hip flexor injury. So I figured like it'd be easier for me to ride and then Tanner to swing over. So we gave her a go on my uh, horse Richard again, and. He kind of like jumped off a barrel like spider monkey and I wasn't really ready for it so I tried to grab him best I could and uh, we got kind of turned around and I thought we went around the barrel but we didn't. So we got no time but I thought we were pretty fast. I mean I definitely think that you guys still should have gotten a time even with not going completely around the barrel. But if we were to have a competition like this at our NMSU rodeo, would you and Tanner enter again? Oh, definitely, definitely. We might have to do a little bit more practices of who's riding, who's swinging over, but we'll get it down pat for sure. So, Coach, if you're seeing this, we might have to just do a rescue race at our college rodeo. Okay, well, congratulations and good luck next weekend in Tucson. Thank you. I appreciate it. Checking the barrel. Make sure it's sturdy. Whip round, whip round.